Hi, this is our session on HTML5 semantic coding, and we'll take a look today at how we can use the uh, new tags in HTML5 to make our websites more readable for uh, humans, easier for the browsers, and uh, better for accessibility as well. Um, so let me go ahead and open up a document in, uh, in Dreamweaver. So control N or file create new. I'm choosing an HTML uh, file here. The layout will be none and I've set the doc type to HTML5. Click on create and you can see it's giving a, giving, given us the um, basic structure for a website. Uh, we've got the document type definition or the simplified HTML5 document type definition here. Uh, we've got our header area and I'm, I'll go ahead and uh, tab that in to make it easier to read. We've got the title, which of course will appear at the top of the uh, the title bar at the top of our browser. And we've got our the body where obviously everything we want to appear on the page will be located. So let's take a look at a typical website and we'll to figure out the uh, hierarchical structure of the website. Um, so on this site we've got a, uh, a header area that has the site's uh, title or name. Um, then we've got the uh, main content area. We've got a section here uh, with articles. And some, some headers. Um, we've got a a sidebar on the right hand side and in the sidebar we've got a, a menu system or a na navigation uh, area. Um, so let's, we'll flip back to Dreamweaver and we'll see how we can uh, define those areas using the new HTML5 uh, semantic codes. Um, so we said that there was a header area so what we're going to be doing is, in the past, we would have done something like this. Um, created a, di a div and uh, set the ID to uh, whatever the fun struck the, the, the whatever the uh, the type of the element was or whatever the uh, uh, area was. Um, but we can simplify that now and also make it easier to figure out the closing tags instead of a bunch of divs where we have to comment them we can create uh, opening and closing header tags and in there we could put uh, an image such as they have done on the uh, web, web uh, designer depot site uh, we could put a, a menu if we wanted to have a uh, a menu underneath the uh, header. Um, obviously I'm not uh, creating the links for the menu but I am putting it inside the new navigation or nav tag for HTML5 so we can clearly identify that as a, uh, uh, a menu or a navigation area. And I can also put uh, text title for the page. So that would be uh, definition or the uh, coding for, for in order to do a header. After that what we want to do is we, we might want to define um, a content area And so here we're, we're still using a div, um, not necessarily for the structure of the site. This is, this is just for creating a layout. So for instance, setting a, a width, uh, centering our layout, uh, um, those kinds of things. So then inside this, what we'd want to do is define a section. So, so a section might be something like... Um, sports and 
and then we'd have various articles on, uh, on, on sports in that section. And so let's go ahead and create an article. And in, inside that article we can create a title or a header. And then we can have the content of the article. And of course we could add images and, and anything else that we would we would like to the to that article. We can have create multiple articles. And of course, we can add multiple sections to our page. just have one article for now um, so 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 he, so now we've got um, the header area with the uh, site the page title information the site title information um, and then we've got the uh, main content area in inside which we're going to put all our uh, our sections and our articles um, and break those down that way um, and in the web designer depot site we remember on the right hand side there was a uh, sidebar and for that we can use the new uh, side tag in, uh, in HTML5 in order to de define a sidebar area and We can define a header for that. We can define another a na another nav er navigation area. If we want, we can give it a uh, an ID. And again, I'm just uh, writing some text, not actually creating links. And uh, so now we can see we've got the uh, a good hierarchical structure for our site. Um, I'm hope hope that this uh, this helps you to understand a little bit more about using semantic coding in uh, in HTML5 and how it's changed since HTML4.